Today we are checking out The Sims 2 Underground Challenge. I've been wanting to do something like this for a while. Um, I think that this is pretty self-explanatory. Basically, we have our Sim who is named uh, Hieronymus Humperdinck, who has been down here staring at birds for the last hour. Uh, he's actually just staring at the cliff wall because we've trapped him underground in the neighborhood in this, well, what was a silo uh, farm or something like that. But we've trapped him down here with only the minimum amount of things needed to keep himself sane for a short period of time before he can hopefully earn the money, um, you know, to get his life back in order. His goal will be to escape. Uh, I haven't tried this challenge at all yet, and we're trying it for the first time here with Twitch chat, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, probably badly. I might have to give myself more money and retry it, but I figure $100 is kind of a nice, you know, uh, a nice value to try it at, because he does need money to pay for his food, otherwise he would just die. But other than that, I've given him pretty much, like, the bare minimum amount of stuff that we could, uh... <laughs> that would suffice. He can't get his newspaper or the present that was left for him, unfortunately, and all the people in this neighborhood are just kind of, well, taking a risk walking by here. But I guess we'll go see what he's doing. I have no idea how he's going to live. I haven't really done any extensive testing of this, so I might just totally mess up in the middle. Um, come on, you have your max uh, motives right now. You may not think that the environment looks very good, but let's get you... Uh, really doing the only- there's real estate here? I guess that's buying real estate, not like being a realtor. He'd be like an e-realtor. I mean, I guess I should just introduce you to his furniture really quick. Time is of the essence. He has a sink. He has this amazing couch. He has a, um... He has a fridge. He has his computer. He can dig for treasure? This is news to me. Does he even need the computer? Maybe we could do this one without the computer. I don't know what, what it'll end up being, but yeah, there's probably already going to have been a video by the time that I do this. Maybe we could just have him dig for treasure. Let's try that too. That's a good idea. Hang on a second. Let's go, Hieronymus. Alright, he's a formal man, um, and in order to help his confidence, we've given him like a pair of ripped jeans. Very cool. What appears to be like Converse. Here we go. Actually, this is more honest labor, you know? Blue collar work, I love that. Good. I mean, literally he is in a blue collar. Mm -hmm. Man, like the, Ameri <laughs> the American dream right there. <laughs> Just walk, he's trying to get deeper down into the earth. <laughs> this is the worst, it's the worst idea. Um, he's, he's digging for more shovel. Um, there's something floating in the air down here sometimes. I don't know why. Did you find anything? They've collected a memento of our... Of my vacation! Sims memory panel, unlock all the items, and... Has found a tattered old map which leads to a place called Mysterious Hut in... Twaikiki Island. Okay, so when you find that island eventually... Let's go ahead and, um... We could hunt some bugs. That'd be kind of nice. Let's go ahead and fill in this hole. See, uh, check your email now. He does. Okay, so let's go through each of his needs. Um, all right, are we going to get to the novel writing anytime soon? There we go. Got to the novel writing. He's. Oh, wow. This is like practically Windows XP. Great job. Mm, all right, so what should be the themes of this book? Unfortunately, we can't name the book, but let's just uh, let's pick this. Here we go. We'll make it a romantic story uh, about a rat and an elephant who got hit by a nuke. Or what is that? A torpedo? Huh? And then they wrestled the sumo. Um, and then they had a baby. Okay. Romantic. There we go. That's perfect. I don't know if this actually has any effect on the sales of it. But, I mean, that seems like plot with very thick armor to me. Oh, God, he always wears the, the sunglasses. This actually reminds me of one of my roommates in college a little bit. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, he's pretty much like everybody's roommate in college. So let's just see what... <laughs> there's all these people waiting for him. So he will not be able to access the other people in general. 
Uh, he's going to spend most of his time down there, but he will have social needs met by, you know, like Kip from Napoleon Dynamite messaging babes online. Messaging babes online. So he's got that covered, you know, bladder you don't even need to worry about because it'll just happen on its own. As for hygiene, well, sink. Profuse hand washing. I'm going to say there are butterflies like just live in here. Can we do anything with that? No. Hunt bugs. Could we, is this like, uh, could we cash these bugs in with Tom Nook, you think? I'd better put time on fast because this is going to get really old really fast. <laughs> I can guarantee you that. So the novel writing, he has gained enthusiasm for film and literature. Me thinks that's good because it'll probably mean that he comes out with a better novel but will it sell is the question will he be able to survive off of royalties from his creative endeavor let's give him some time because it does take time to write a novel he'll go through all of his full needs before this novel is over it's not going to be a one day novel this isn't like an amazon thing like you know those books that people release on amazon after a couple of days Simmer my household's inventory. Oh yeah, he's got his inventory, right? Rewards. Top tier stream. He has a map to a mysterious hut, but not really much else. Hey, Winter is Azel. Thank you very much for the sub. And Speckledorf, thank you. We're almost there, baby. Getting to point and creativity from the money well computer. So he's getting more creativity, so this bodes well for us, because if we look at his stats. Um, where is he? This is relationships. I did try installing a phone underground for him a while back, and he couldn't reach anyone because he doesn't know anyone. Which kind of begs, how does he know the people on the computer? This is just a cursed enough way to begin. Now, he, it, we, it's gonna, he's gonna like slingshot down and then back up with his mood. What a lovely mouse pad. How did he get that in here? God, these details in The Sims 2, though, really make it one of my favorite ones. Like, even the text there that they did. We need a telephone to make money on the novel. Well, if that ends up being so, then we might have to just, you know, dig for buried treasure before we get there. Because the one other good bit of fortune is that if we have to, um, if we have to dig for buried treasure, well, technically, we don't, we don't even need any furniture to start. I'm... I think that this start actually might be too easy, you know, now that we really get down to it. Uh, Digging for treasure would just be more... I don't know, like the, the meme of the hour, as they say. There we go, nice. Unfortunately, he won't be able to get rid of any of this garbage, so we'll see if his environment deteriorates at a fast enough rate. And he's going to need the bathroom a lot. We'll just allow nature to take its course. There we go, good. I'm not sure we'll ever need one of those, though. I mean, here we go. Good hand washing. Nice. Oh, wow, my God. That's really hot water. How did he get pipes running down here? Yeah, he's... Maybe we could get him to mod on someone's Discord, you know? Stop crying and wash your hands. Like, <laughs> profusely. Like, remember that show, Monk? Where the guy would just... Yeah, there we go. Now, see... The Sims 2, much easier than The Sims 1, because it's, like, possible to get your needs back up. I still haven't done extensive testing with the sink, so let's go find out. Is that, like, a five times thing? No, we can't actually do that. I was trying shift-clicking it. So he washed his hands for the entire night. There we go. And now he's... Unfortunately, he's got this trash in the way, but there's nowhere to put it, so let's just walk over here. And Good, the trash has just basically disappeared. Um... What is he up to now? He's pulled a book out of his... Yeah, have some breakfast. Have some breakfast. I want you to be comfy. I want you to be comfy. You're going to be living down here for a while. His energy is really not going anywhere. Oh, what has he got in the fridge? Some beer? Oh, yeah, he's got like... Uh, wait, that looked like A1 steak sauce. All right, so we've almost got his needs back up. We could order groceries, but we probably won't be able to get to them. Mm, I'm thinking we chat with... Let's just alternate between whoever these people are until I'm happy again. Curtis, Patrick, and Adrian. Hmm. 
Oh, does, does he get less clean when he picks up trash? Alright, so he's good. He's so shilling. Okay, good. Uh, the computer is actually broken, so could he repair it? Oh my god, he's actually he's actually repairing his own computer. Man, this is going south really fast. I thought that he would have slightly more endurance. Maybe we either need to give him better furniture. What do you need, Humperdink? What do you need to get started? Tell me. So... I don't know, guys, I had some high hopes for Humperdink. I'm not sure he's actually going to be able to make it with this amount of... Like, he might need a real shower, I'm concerned, because that was a lot of time with hand washing. It's going to get worse, and the environment is quickly downscaling, and he can't actually work on the novel if his mood is in the red. Similar to in The Sims 1. Let's give him just a moment. Try to fix his own computer. Um, okay, he's, like, basically... Uh, destroyed the computer forever. All right, so let's begin. I guess this seems like it's going to be the meta. He started off with what a hundred bucks. We'll just begin digging for treasure everywhere. Nope, not there. Is there any over here? It must be somewhat common if they list it as an option. Sell the treasure and buy a big fridge and TV. Well, he's got to find the treasure first. He can't sleep because of his own stench, I'm pretty sure. He found a rock. It has been placed... Found a major roost there by Franco Phil Designs. Wow, there's actually quite a lot buried deep beneath the center of the earth in this Aztec tomb that he seems to be searching through. What is... Okay, all right. This is something. Hey, he's also got a ticket there, and he's got a rock here. Well, can we... It's not a bowler. <laughs> Skippy the stone sells for 25 simoleons. The ticket sold for 400 and the birds sold for 170. My god, this is actually much easier than I thought it was. So in fact, we didn't need furniture to begin with. Not that he had that much of a lead, you know. Like considering that he's yeah, he is too hungry now. Can he have a snack? Just eat some All right, well, hang on a second. There's a lot to do here. There's a lot to be done. We've just made some money mostly off of the things that I found underground, so I feel justified in this. Um, my god, what game are we playing again? This is just so bizarre. Can we get the trash compactor? Because I think that's our only hope. Ready prep range? These, these are not... None of these look like trash compactors. Is this a trash comp... Yep, here we go. Is this one cheaper? It is. Mm, this may need to be installed beside a wall. Okay, plan B. Wall into trash compactor. There we go, one $70 wall somehow installed with the sheet rock that was completely available down here. And then we go right into the... No, it didn't actually work. Oh, it needs to be in a counter, of course. That makes sense. All right, well, I am kind of a dingus, so I messed that one up. All right, so let's, with our fabulous hordes of wealth, let's uh, put just enough for the compactor. You're right, you're right. Perfect. Now, look at the amount of luxury you have. We could move some of these things around to make them make slightly more sense. All right, let's yep, yep, ponder that for a second, Hieronymus. Or what is your name again? Hieronymus Humperdinck. I got it right. I got it right. Nope. Clean. Clean. All right, let's have some dinner. Let's have some dinner. I don't really want you to die. Oh, you're asleep. Okay, well, thank God for that. Good. You got that done, too? Or have, have some uh, kids' cuisine or something. Instant food. There we go. Already his life has scaled up by so much. Keep, stop crying. All right, I'm getting some deja vu from uh, our, our previous Sims. My god, guys, I can't believe how overpowered that digging for buried treasure is. Do you think it runs out, like, after you go through so many holes, or do you think you just keep refreshing? Uh, we certainly don't even need this computer. In fact, the computer might be the long way to getting rich. Though I also think that they can make more money in these games. You can also do things like, um, oh, for example, I'm pretty sure that you can buy art, put it on the walls, and sell it 
later for a profit. I get minus luck now. That's ridiculous. There's no such thing as negative luck. A worm farm, also a strong possibility. Well, you know what? I think when I wake up tomorrow, I'll just dig for more treasure in the yard because I'm going to be in no mood to write my novel, but I'm going to have a lot of life experience for that novel by the time we're done. Let's go ahead and just have a look again at Humperdinck. Consider him from afar, you know, as a subject. Hyron has found a chicken feed Charlie sculpture of fun. The solution to this game is just dig in the ground. This is why I love this game. Daruma Wishing Doll by Suki Day. Yeah, the, the writing in this game really was outstanding. He found a bone. Okay, so he found a lot of stuff. We're getting what appears to be the second newspaper. Is this number three? There's something over here, but I'm... <laughs> he just keeps trying. Yeah, this guy is a is a nut. <laughs> I love that image. He's just he's just he's so nonchalant. Oh my god. You ever do this? You ever do this? You never had to take a shower in the sink. You know why? Because you're not grateful. Because you're not grateful. Okay, we're running out of food again. Come on, hi no, uh, nope, I, I don't do that. I run. Fortunately, you still can wake up your sim. It's not just that they're involuntarily sleep, sleeping forever. Try having some instant meal for breakfast. One ten. We don't actually seem to run out of money. I don't know why that is. Did they turn off paying for your food in the Sims too? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't this? I love this. This everything that's coming of this playthrough is already just begging so many questions. <laughs> yeah, they can all just casually walk next to a death pit. Is this thing ever- we'll just get rid of it and buy another one. Okay, now we will actually buy him a bed, I think. Let's go ahead and put this out. My rooster. It'd be more interesting if you just had to dig up all of your furniture from underground. Huh, oh, what do you know? There were poltergeists with everything I needed living beneath my house. Well, that's not a poltergeist, but you get the idea what I was trying to say. All right, let's go ahead. Man, I, I'm really having a much better time with this game than I was with The Sims 1. The Sims 1 is hard. It's so hard, The Sims 1. I guess we'll buy him, like, a decent bed. What is this? I don't want something... I want something stoic and simple like this. All right, you know, have a, have a bed. It's a bit random, though. You know, you'd think that... Considering that he has so much time on his hands, he'd at least put some, uh, let's see what kind of pajamas he's got. Get up. Oh, that's so much less amazing than your formal wear. You've taken off your sunglasses. Why? I would think that those would have helped you sleep. Oh, you have to buy groceries. Food in the fridge will run out. So could we just buy another fridge that will come with the uh, groceries? That seems to make some sense, right? Otherwise, we'll just have to keep on buying new fridges. Or perhaps we could farm for the vegetables, if that's an option, which I need to figure out right now, I suppose. Is that under plants? Yeah, can you have... A, I'm pretty sure you could do that in The Sims 1, right? You could have a vegetable garden. This is this bamboo? Hmm, what is here? Synthelic, synth synthelic, synthetic iron trellis. Are there garden plots? Well, you guys know this game better than me. Are there? Are there garden plots in this game? Gardening is in the build menu. Ah, thank you. Yep, here we go. Okay, let's get him some plants. Or at least examine what plants we'll need. Gardening. I imagine gardening is under gardening. I just want to make sure. Here we go. Good. Yes, it is un indeed under gardening. I, my faith in the world has not been... What is this? It looks like I'm just putting doo-doo on the ground. Is it doo-doo? Composting apparatus. Oh, we could use all of the urine. Um, hmm. Mm. Garden spritzer. Pretty sure the rest of the stuff is for a greenhouse. Apple tree. Okay, this is... Now we're talking. Well, let's try out some of these plots. Gardening. Your sims can now grow fresh fruit and vegetables in their yard to cook. Yes, yes. Okay, so we will subsist... This is so great. This is actually like a survival game now. 
my god, in amazing, amazing. Let's plant tomatoes, because of course we could just pay eight simoleons and get them out of thin air. So he can run out of money. All right, so he could subsist off of just dirt. Wow. You are the salt of the earth, Hieronymus Humperdinck. Seasons matter, so a greenhouse will be required long term. This, make, this ups the ante a lot. This makes this challenge a lot more interesting. And I do have the Seasons mod installed. Or uh, expansion. A lot is at stake here, folks. A lot is at stake. I suppose we're also going to have to wait for the tomatoes to grow. But the rate at which I get treasure from beneath the ground. This tomato plant has a slight smile. All right, I guess we don't have much else to do. Watering the tomatoes. This challenge is already great. Dig for tr Don't bathe. Dig for treasure. Dig for treasure. I love how he just has no resistance. This is basically holes, like, with Shia LaBeouf. I was trying to figure that out. So, yeah, you had said that it was, like, Shia LaBeouf before. I was thinking, well, why is it, like, Shia LaBeouf? And then I just thought to myself, Stanley Yelmatz. He basically, without fail, every single time finds something underneath the ground. Oh god! He found a fountain! Is he eventually going to drown, or you think he'll be able to wade up to the surface with this amount of water? It is spreading! So many qu- alright, let's just find out what happens. Will it eventually run out? Maybe I could use this to water the crops. Oh wait, we're getting something here now. No, these are just weeds. Well, uh, they're better than nothing, I can say that for sure. Okay, he's got two of them now. Come on, man. This is probably a bad thing, I would imagine, right? Isn't this basically the point of holes with Shia LaBeouf? I mean, he does have... Uh, Shia LaBeouf took on some facial hair, right? Maybe, you know, this is the lesser known evil twin or something. Who can really tell? So we found whatever this is. I mean, a treasure map that we'll never be able to use. Hidden Burrow. I mean, this basically is the Hidden Burrow, so... I think we're fine there. We've just made like $600 off of selling rocks to no one. This is very interesting, The Sims 2. It is very good. Taking care of more of our needs. You know, I'm already, I mean, life has improved so much. I say... Well, let's run out the clock on this. Let's really eat up the rest of the food, and then we'll hopefully... I mean, we're at subsisting now. I, I have no question that he'll be able to survive down here. I had my doubts. But there we go. The stink is visible. I love the green visible stink. Isn't there like a scene in holes that was like this? Oh, we gotta take care of this guy's sink. I, I, or stink. Not... Funny that stink and sink rhyme. I mean, he's not presenting himself to everyone. I'm pretty sure that he can't smell himself. Is there an outhouse toilet? Yeah, we'll do the outhouse toilet. That sounds like a great idea. Let's do, um, nope, not this menu. Here we go, plumbing. Or at least there was one in The Sims, in the Sims 1. That's if I don't have the right pack installed. Maybe it's under the build menu? Uh, outhouses? Outhouses? Garage? It's a garage of sorts. Mm, no, I don't really see it. Actually, that's kind of funny. Yeah, there was an outhouse in The Sims 1. Mm. Alright. Maybe just like normal boring shower. Unfortunately, those $625 still have yet to make that amount of money. Man, we gotta get him an apple tree as well. The tomato plant is still healthy. We'll water it again. If only we get, like, more water. Good, it's up arrow. It's, like, slightly, um, hysteric. No, I think we gotta fill in this one. Oh, what is this? Hang on a second. Okay, the Easter Bunny is here to make me happy. Uh, I think this is like the Easter Bunny of either harass you forever or the Easter Bunny of, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you out. I think since they made The Sims 2 a little bit easier, this guy might actually be helpful. But he is also missing an eye, so this might be some sort of, like, uh, dollar store Easter Bunny that isn't... What is he doing? 
Kind of reminds me of my aunt. We would go over to my aunt's house on Easter when I was a kid. And she was a... She was kind of like a chain smoker. Um... And she used to dress up as the Easter Bunny, so we could just catch the Easter Bunny smoking, uh, like a... A pack of Marlboros. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Uh, okay, social... No, no, he's the social bunny. He's a non-affiliated uh, religious. Is the Easter bunny... Was that told of in the Bible? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wait, is it the nightmare bunny? Oh, no, this is this is a completely good bunny. Except he made me very uncomfortable. All right, well, I too would be uncomfortable. Even if that bunny made me feel good, I would be uncomfortable after the encounter. Like, for a little while... Also, how did he get out? Did he just go straight through platform nine and three quarters or something Have around a great here? great day. Your content is unmatched. Uh, thank you very much for the kind $10 tip, Alvarado. Oh, I appreciate that. Hope you have a great day, too. Thank you for your generosity. Mm. Come on, Hieronymus. This bowl of beans uh. isn't going to eat itself. Well, also the environment is not very reliable over here. I'm gonna go ahead and say this. He's at a point where it's only his comfort that's low. Let's have him dig for like a lot more treasure because I think that we could Im significantly improve his quality of life just kind of at random here. Then we go ahead and we build him a room to live in and we just try to keep him out of this outside area as much as possible. So that way he goes into the bunker. Yes, he found another one of those tickets which happens to be worth a lot of money. This is so good. Okay, let's, uh... I can hardly even contain my gladness. Here we go, uh... For some reason, the rock won't fit over there. Mm -hmm. Get another $400. Okay, so we didn't even need this computer or anything to begin with. Well, interest... I, I think it was funny to begin with it. Let's go ahead and, um... Yeah, now we got $1,400. Let's go ahead and put a, uh, put a wall in there. Oh, give him a real shower. Don't you think he needs that? Order of order of priorities here. All right, we're going to give him like a 5x5 five five room. 4x5, five, 5x5. Five, five five. And herein, he will begin building his way back up toward the surface. Is that enough to contain a staircase? Or are we going to end up having to build it out more? Uh, sort of. We might actually need to do 7 by... I think 7 by 7 would be a little bit better. So we'll... Actually, let's get rid of those walls. Can we cancel those right now? I want everything to be symmetrical. Even if it takes me a little bit longer. Guys, design isn't my strong suit. I, uh... I'm just an idiot. Four, five, six, seven. There we go. Okay, 215 to... Clearly, this is expensive. Okay, we're going to need to dig some more holes. To quote Holes, uh, I'm going to give you my favorite quote from Holes. Well, what else was I going to give you? Um, the duck may swim on the lake, but my daddy owns the lake. <laughs> uh, lovely to be here. Tomato plant healthy. It's going down, though. It's going down. Let me tend and then water. Good. Do those dishes. They aren't going to do themselves. <laughs> Can we get a camera of what's going on up at the surface? Just all of these people risking their lives. To get a chance to see the, like, human experiment that's taking place. It's even funnier when regarded in perspective from afar. <laughs> Somebody call the fire department. How would they even get this man out of there? Like, if this were somehow a disaster, IRL. You know. Yeah, okay, that's good. You earned a, s a nice sleep now. You earned it. <laughs> I think you did. I got the flu and I can die? Wait, he, how do we know that he has the flu? He can die from the flu? Hang on a second. Wait, 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 wait. I don't want to die of the flu. Well, where, how do we know that he, he's un, just unemployed, just normal unemployed guy? Uh, tiny notification, that's all it is, sadly. 
Oh, is saving going to save us? I want to keep my other save from the beginning. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, I'll save it. I'll save it. I don't want to, I don't want to lose everything because of the flu. There we go. All right. Well, thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving me. All right, really nowhere to bring this trash, unfortunately, so we could just bring it over to, yes, another trash comp Or that's an also an ideal solution. So at least he's maintained his composure. Despite the fact that he has the flu, there's a lot of other things wrong with him. Let's go ahead. No, just come on. Get your motivation back up, Humperdink. We're going to dig for s treasure like 20 more times uh, until you actually find something of value again. Fortunately, he's found all of these tickets underground, which have been worth $400 each, though. Now I'm getting nothing but rocks. I don't think it really depends on mood, though. We got a cozy kitsch gnome. Let's dig for treasure again. Just keep doing this. This infinite money just buried in the dirt. Okay, there we go. That was what we mainly needed. And now uh, we can actually get him a room because he is suffering from being here. We'll just place all of these things down. 400, 68, 25, 25. There we go. Just what I was looking for. Okay, now my need for symmetry will be fulfilled, and we will... Oh, uh, we're going to go through with the rest of this room, I think. Fortu unfortunately, don't have enough money. We just need three more segments. <laughs> All right, come on, get up. Wake up, and then we'll move your bed in there. Stop dying. Stop dying. I really don't have much hope for this guy. <laughs> He's crying, like, a lot. Is this his health? Oh no, this is as his aspiration is fortune. Oh, he may die. He may die now. Hang on a second. No, we get it. I'm gonna save you. No, don't try to do all that bird watching. He's got a lot going on right now. Oh, you could have just walked past those holes the whole time. Lazy. Lazy. Alright, sleep. Eat. Good, he's done with that. Alright, good, he won't die of hunger. He won't die of hunger. Well, what is he doing? What is he doing? You know what? I've got to speed up this process, guys. I don't even think that the computer is going to be that important. I've just got to get this man into, like, surgery right now. I'm going to move everything into this room because I think it's his dire need for a new room that is, uh... Causing this breakdown in society. We're gonna move everything in there. Humperdink. Here we go. Move in your chair. Yes, you love your chair. We'll put this over here. Yeah, there we go. And um, hmm, we need room for the staircase, I think. So we'll just put this, how about like right over here? Oh, whoops, we can't actually. Can we change the direction of that? Yeah, there we go. All right, put that right over there. Good, now we have practically an entire kitchen for you. Fancy living. Move that over there. This jolly music is actually rather, uh, like, perfectly matching the mood. Hmm. We get rid of that, and we exchange it for a wall over here. That's 210. Do we still have enough to afford a door? This is the question. Get rid of that. Yes, the cheapest door is only $80. We can afford that, and yes, bada bing, we've got a... Oh, we could have just done that. Oh, well, well. Squares are, are, are just right. There's something right about a square. Get up. Okay, we've got you a real house now. Wow. What happens if we put up the walls? What does that look like? I've done great things for this man. No one questioned me. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a roof. Yeah. I mean, he pretty much just gets, like, automatic. What is he doing? Let's just let him be autonomous for a few moments. He's... Is he destroying the... Yeah, he's killing the bugs. Oh, God, the bugs have returned from The Sims 1. Can we spray them? No, I don't like that. Here we go. Spray. It looks like he's trying to eat the bugs. Here we go. Yeah, just open up your armpits on them, and they should probably go away. Mm, this is not good, Hieronymus. The bugs have returned. Just get back to your home. Come on, Hieronymus. 
Not really anywhere to put your trash. That's problematic. I wonder if there's any way... Is there any way we could just get rid of the trash? I thought that the compactor would, like, delete it. It just puts it down a drain somehow. Isn't that how it used to work in the other ones? Or maybe not. We still... I mean, as it is, we currently have no way of getting rid of trash. He's living in a landfill. Oh, God. Or maybe we could sell the trash? Yeah, let's try that. Can't pick up. Hmm. Yeah, what are we going to do about that? I don't want to do move objects. I think that would be a little bit... I, he's got to have some way of figuring it out. You know, like... You, you don't think that when you throw away your trash, it just goes away, like magically disappears. Now they burn a lot of it. Or they just put it in the ocean. Or <laughs> really, they really, they really shouldn't do that. Um, but yeah, a lot of it does get burned for energy, right? Then sell the bin. Ah, oh, that's actually would be kind of interesting. Put the trash, yeah, put the trash in a bin and then sell the bin. Let's try that. Sometimes it doesn't allow you to do that, but we got to get rid of the trash somehow. So let's go ahead and put this, it's probably under miscellaneous, right? Try waste bin. Nope, that's dog food. I think that this, yep, piece of garbage. <laughs> They had such great names for these things in this game. Uh, let's dig for tre Yeah, we'll keep it nice outside the front of my house, actually. Let's dig for treasure over here. Choose aspiration benefits by clicking on the treasure chest icon. Hmm. Where is the... Aspiration benefits by clicking the treasure chest icon. Where is that? Aspiration benefits. Oh! Aspiration rewards. Yeah, because some of it is discover buried treasure, right? Lifetime aspiration benefits. What is this? Oh, interesting. So, like, because he's got this buried treasure, right? Okay, a money tree and a discovery that sent shockwaves. Oh, yeah, he can get a money tree. This existed in this game. I forgot about this. But he hasn't really gotten his aspiration rewards yet. He certainly doesn't have a career. What is this one, too? This is like a m noodle soother. What the heck? It just elevates your mood in general. Okay, that's good. Hmm. We do have his aspirations over here. So if he buys a toilet, buys a shower or a tub, and earns $100, or marries a rich sim. So these are his aspirations. Yeah, so going back to The Sims 2, this was like how one of the major game mechanics worked in it was that you had these aspirations, and if you did them, you'd make your sim happier. I mean, for me, my aspiration was money. I think the, the choice was obvious when you live in a pit. You, need some, you can't really marry for love when you live in a pit. There's a couple of other boxes you gotta check off before that. There's a trash comp- wait, it does destroy the trash? I stand corrected. Okay, so then let's go ahead and do this. Clean up. You need to... You are irking me, sir. Clean the garbage. Now nah, he doesn't actually do that. Hmm, we gotta figure a little bit of this out. So he's found a gold dragon. Worth $430. Hang on a second. Let's just see if we can fix this one thing. I think we need to do it before. Try putting this trash over here. Clean it up. Wake up. Okay, he's just falling asleep all the time now. Get out of there, Humperdink. Oh, we got to get that man out of there. There we go. He's got his energy back up. You really can't do anything without energy. Stop waking up, Humperdink. Oh, it's the hunger. Okay, yes, I will do that. I didn't think you would be so difficult. Ah, uh, we could have cereal now. Options. Yeah, he did get kind of stuck. Okay, he fell asleep in the bowl of cereal. Yep, and he just falls asleep face first in that. He could drown. He could asphyxiate in his bowl. Can you imagine? He asphyxiated after falling asleep in the bowl of cereal. Wait, actually that might happen. He could go back to eating it. No, Jesus. All right, which one is it going to be? Good. You did. Up and at him, champ. Sleep in your pajamas. Yeah. Do it. 
Phew, he was stuck in like a, a hunger sleep st uh, cycle there. That wasn't good. Okay, so I'm not paying any of my bills, but I dare them. I dare them. Come and get the bills, SimCity savings and loans. Can you imagine usurers coming to get me? Or is it user? You never hear that word anymore. Is it usurers or us? I think it's, I want to say it's us because it's usury, right? Use, use, yeah. I will get the repo, man, regardless. All right, he's much better now. Of course, his social status is still garbage, but... Hey, at least he has energy. At least he won't fall asleep into the bowl of cereal anymore. Yeah. That's progress. Can you imagine, like, going to your therapist and saying that? Well, I managed to stay awake through the entire bowl of Cheerios today. Progress. I think we've got somewhere. And they and they charge you money for that. They charge you money for that. Let's go ahead. We'll buy him an actual toilet. This is going to fulfill one of my amazing life aspirations. Here we got 500. We're one step closer to a money tree. Reach char charisma and cleaning level one. Okay. Well, he does like to clean. Shower and tub. We've, we're just going to try to upgrade his life a bit. Come on, man. Come on, let's go. Let's go another beautiful day in paradise. Okay, so good. The dishes do just kind of disappear. Oh, whoops, we gotta get rid of that. Yeah, you're not getting the mail, man. Sorry about that. <laughs> so let's check out this trash thing. No, he's just gotta take out the trash. Troubling. Maybe I didn't get the right compactor. See, I got... Eliminate unnecessary trips to the curbside can and turn your stinky kitchen debris into... Huh. Funny that it says that you should be able to do that, and yet mine doesn't do that. Don't we think? Sign the aspiration points like so. Oh, really? I could do better uh, aspiration stuff? Maybe I'll go ahead and do that, just to make him slightly less needy. Oh, I see what we're saying. Slower need decay, social and comfort. Life of luxury, no matter... Um, in case this is for career. Skill negotiator. M naturals at the art of haggling. Don't really need that either. Wait, is this sales? No, we don't have salary. Um, yeah, I think we just need to slow the rate of decay on these other things. That's good. Okay, good call. I like that. Uh, slower need decay on hygiene. Wow, we can do all of them right now? Oh, wow. This is rather good. Um, financial advice for cash. Oh, this opens up other options for him on the computer. This is quite good. Well, we don't have a job, and nor do I think that we're ever going to get one. Let's just do the trees that are kind of native to our character and just drop all of his needs. We could have him give financial advice on the internet. I recommend the second aspiration to have more flexible desires for mood boost. I'm just happy that he had anything. I'm, I'll figure it out more as we get up the mood tree. I just wanted to give him all those... Main things. The main thing I want is this money tree. The money tree would be very good for him. But the slower... I'm just so used to the Sims 1 need decay being god-awful. Like, I'm slightly looking forward to the fact that he's... Okay, he's not got this one. Let's try to eliminate all of the bugs. Spray them all. One thing at a time, people. You know, you gotta focus on one problem in your life at a time, and then... Things begin to improve slowly. Good, we've got most of the bugs. Yes, he's donned his formal jacket again. Let's get rid of these bugs and these ones. And yes, I think that's just about it. Except they do s seem to keep spawning from the garbage. So we haven't eliminated the root problem yet. Problematic, but, you know, you gotta walk before you can run. Alright, at least maybe that will kill off some of the bugs. Spray these ones. My god, there really are just as many as there were in The Sims 1. It's almost as if the game's coding is exactly the, the same. The <laughs> scream, scream victory over the bugs. God, this is like a bug's life all over again. This is a man having a lot of, like, first world problems in a, in a real dire situation. Now, I'm convinced that these things aren't going to kill me. 
Oh, I've also... Ah, uh, crap. I've also just about killed my tomato plant because I've neglected it. Let's tend it really quick. Come on, save the tomatoes. This setup is going to be very, very difficult to get rid of the trash without getting it exterminated. Moving the trash can down is unfortunately necessary if you want to play this long... Tr we could do that. I wonder if we could do that. So, like, let's go ahead and... Let's just chat about that for a second. Is there any possible way of getting rid of trash? Because right now he does seem to be stuck with this. The trash compactor doesn't seem to do... What it... Tinker. Yeah, the trash compactor doesn't actually seem to delete the trash. So we have to bring the trash compactor down? It's a different trash. This one said it would, though. It's kind of weird. Hmm... Bins need to be moved to the trash can eventually. It just kind of delays the problem. Oh, okay, so I see. So we pretty much need... Thank you, actually. I, I did not know that that existed. So I gotta move the trash can down. Alright. So, with that in mind, I'm okay with that. If we have to move the trash can down, that's like a one-time thing. So we gotta do... Move objects... True, right? Uh, how, what is what is the command again in the game for moving the trash can down? So we could get it uh down to the ground. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, move on. Ob move objects. Uh, I think we. Uh, oh, actually, it did work the first time. I think. Oh, move objects on. Okay, I think that that worked. So now we just take this and we go into buy mode. We move the trash can down here. Fortunately, this does work. And I think this just permanently deletes the trash. So we'll put that over there. I wonder if we can get the mail down here too. Like if we could just somehow bug the mailman into delivering it on the ground. That may work. Either that or he just won't deliver them. I don't think that he should be able to receive other packages, though. That's against the spirit of the challenge, in my opinion. So if we take out the trash... Yup, it's just gone forever, because that's pretty much infinite, as far as I'm concerned. Okay! Alright, we're moving and shaking. We're moving and shaking now. Wasn't necessary. Uh, move the trash bin without... Oh, really? You don't even need move objects on? Well, I did it either way. I also think it's funny to have the mailbox just facing a wall of dirt that somehow the mailman is expected to arrive at this location. I said, we'll delete this. God, I can see his stench. Can you get the mail? You can't, unfortunately, get the mail. So we will move the mailbox so that... Would this work? Can it magically get delivered? Okay. Paying the bills. Paying the bills. There we are. I liked it better the other way, for the record. But, you know, if I must do it like this. All right, so his social is still down. His hygiene is still down. We'll take care of those things in a bit. But let's get his energy and hunger back up. And then we'll dig several more holes. Dig for treasure. Dig for treasure. Now, if we can get his other aspirations up. Oh, what is this sound? SimCity savings and loans. Okay, they've teleported in the repo man because I've missed my bills. That's probably fine. It just unfortunately fades out of existence. They've removed my couch. I wasn't really using the couch though, so I'm fine with that. I didn't need the couch. Um, I'll fulfill my other lifetime aspirations. Mainly the money tree, I think, is the big one that he wants. Oh, you opened up another pit to water world. Come on. Oh, he's upset because he hasn't achieved his, uh, dreams of money. Still, I find this a lot more tolerable than The Sims 1. Oh, yes, we've got the happy doctor who came in. This guy does occasionally make life better. Fun for all. Okay, good. We're back on our grind. Yes! Old map. Another rock and a bone. Another bone, there we are. Okay, um... We get everything out of the inventory again. Where is it? There we go. Move, 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 move. Sell, 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 sell. I like how the lifetime aspirations are kind of at the level that your sim is at, because... 
Like, I can't picture this guy doing much more than buying a shower. Tops. At this point. So we'll give him, like, the terrible shower. Oh my gosh, this is very depressing. There we go. Okay, come on. Get it to this side. Get it to this side. There we go. All right, fancy living. Got that, got that. He can earn $100. I don't think he's going to be able to do that. What else do we have? Uh, what is this? Reach chari charisma. Uh, and what is this? Hire an exterminator. Going to be hard for him to get down here, but I could at least hire one. Take a shower. All right, so now he's got all of his needs met. There in the hole. Let's see if other people are... How's the rest of the town doing? And what do we live across from? You know, we haven't really looked into the neighborhood. I think it'll be a while. Stat Stratford Strip. I, I think it's against the spirit of the challenge to just walk there, even if we are allowed to. Though I doubt that it would be allowed. Ride the rock out of the... Oh, yeah, like the pioneers. <laughs> oh, sorry. Wrong episode of SpongeBob. Hey, Fitblood. Thank you very much for the prime. Rise and shine, Humperdink. All right, maybe today we'll get up that social stat for you. Winter is coming. If we don't have a roof, we will not survive. We haven't yet made it to the money tree. Let's go see if we have any other lifetime aspiration rewards. Not just yet. We're still going to need to do more if we want to get to where, where I'm trying to get. Man, this winter really came on fast, don't you think, here in the pit? Let's go, there's a lot more work to do today. He does just spend most of his life sleeping, though. He's like some sort of hibernating squirrel. In more than one sense, you know? I guess we could pay these bills, though, only $54, but you still don't really have any other way of making money, so let's just keep on digging for treasure. Another day, who knows? I guess he must just pass the money up to somebody with really long arms, you know? That's how I imagine, in my mind's eye, how he gets the money for doing all of this digging every day. Oh, roofs are free? Really? Sweet. We put on a roof on this sucker. Oh, heck yeah. Heck yeah. Hang on a second. Tall and short auto roof. Let's do that. No, uh... Insufficient funds. Not these roofs. Oh, there it is. Okay, our there's the roof. There's the roof. It doesn't really make any sense, this roof. But at least it's not so boring as the rest of the house, which is just a square still. I think that this is a perfectly acceptable house to live in. This also reminds me of my college dorm. Well, uh, no, it doesn't, but... Yeah, maybe the one that I had a dream about, you know? The tile... Yeah, there's a tile on my roof. Well, it's to remind me that, uh... Nothing is perfect. And, you know, as they, as they say in perfection, there's some small element of imperfection that makes it worth admiring. So that's where we're at. We found two maps. What a haul today. What a great haul. Three. Wow, I'm going to be a rich man tomorrow. It's un... Hang on. Wake up. Wake up. Stop slacking on the job, Hieronymus. Here we go. Go to bed like a real... Like a real boy. Or we'll just put a bed down right next to him. Do we have that inventory again? Yeah, there it is. Right, one, two, three, four, and look at all this. 400, 425, 825, 1225. Math, 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 math. He's gonna get uh, influence. I really struggled to see. He could start a great YouTube channel though. You know those like survival wilderness living challenges where some guy goes out into the woods and he's got like a lighter and he, he builds Atlantis with the lighter. It's crazy. I think that um, our protagonist has a great shot at this, you know? He could... What would be the name of his channel? Like, Underground... Uh, 
like you know he could go after the famous game series Tony Hawk's Underground but really underground I think that would sell I think that would be interesting I would certainly I everyone would watch that you couldn't not watch it Oh we have $1239 it seems like yeah the counts the camera bounces is quite bad Mm what are his aspirations? Actually, I'm going to just follow up on these aspirations. Let's give him a mirror to practice charisma, although he does need to get into a better mood before then. And he's currently not in a great mood. I'm not going to lie. He needs to be able to also create food from nothing. That's been another source of concern. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and say apple tree. That's got to be the next thing. We don't have to tend to an apple tree, right? Because... Our tomato plant died because I just didn't have the time. I was too busy fighting uh, roaches and, like, other evildoers on the ground. I don't want them to multiply. There we go. Are there any more of their kind here? They are not welcome. There they are. Be gone, beasts. Look at them go. I didn't actually used to encounter large bugs like this, but, uh current place I'm living in. You can like hear a cockroach before you before you see it. Because they're usually quite large. Hmm. Oh yeah, I've got to pay my bills too. Thank you. I don't want SimCity Sim savings and loan coming after me. I wonder if I'll never have to pay my bills because they can't get to the mailbox though too. Let's just find out. Are there any? Nope, no bills up here? Okay, great. Doesn't seem I'm seem like I'm getting any mail anymore. However, all right, let's have another comfortable bowl of cereal to use as a pillow again. I think that would be perfectly acceptable. Oh no, they have multiplied. Well, then we'll just have to queue orders for. Is there a real bug on my arm? No, there wasn't. Ever get that tingling sensation? We should probably get rid of these too. Cover those things up right away. Because now we've got, like, a weed problem. It's growing. Hmm. If I make... Or I could eat the bugs, too. Yeah, that's true. If I make a pond, I could fish for food or sell them. Wow, maybe we'll create a pond down here. That would actually be great. Although I like the idea of, like, passive food income from apples. You know? Okay, he looks like he's having a really hard time here. I think he might be trapped between the holes. Oh, no, he was just lying. Get right back in there. Get right back in there. Don't sleep before you eat. Don't sleep before you eat. Stop crying. It does kind of annoy me when they get into, like, this mood spiral like this, though. Come on, drink. Wake up. You get tired way too fast, man. As long as that need is met, you should be fine. Oh, he might be dying of the gout now. Yep, he's sick. He's very sick. <laughs> oh, why would you have... This is one of the healthiest place to be in... Wait a second. Is it, can he have breakfast? Oh, maybe that's the issue. Well, he did get a drink of something from out of there. Get up. <coughs> Have something. Nope, he's just coughing for the entire day. All right, it's kind of funny, though. I think you're right. I think that the fridge is empty right here. But it's not really telling me that, is it? Check foods. Oh, okay, so let's go ahead and see this. Check food supplies. Current levels. Okay, so there we go. Level is zero. Sleep quick. And what we're going to have to do is sell the fridge and buy a new fridge until we can get an uh, ongoing food source. I'm learning, guys. I, I'm really not particularly experienced in The Sims 2. We aren't going to get any pro-level gameplay here. Let's buy him a... I'm going to regret it. Well, I've already spent the 600. I was thinking bigger fridge might come with more food. Maybe not necessarily. The weeds have expanded inward. Uh, you know, just sleep. Be comfortable. I'm sure it'll be fine. How many crimes can I commit in this game? I think that burglar is a, actually a professional career track. I 
I have little patience for this man. If I can access the road, I can do one of two things. Either keep buying new fridges, bigger ones are better, limited cooking options. Okay, so that's good. So they do have more capacity. Catering table. We're doing a treasure coin challenge of this type. Yes, we will definitely be doing that. So maybe I'll do that. Alright, I'm going to cover the things that are bothering me as pet peeves right now. Fill in these two holes. This has just been speaking to me for a while. He somehow keeps failing at filling the holes in. Why is this happening? Try it again. Hmm, he's not... You fail at everything a lot. Yeah, see, like, when I even tell... what Now, let's examine... Are you, like, gaining the physical strength to fill in this? Nope, he's just very sick. He's just very sick. God, he's so mysterious. I get it. You feel alone. The, the social Easter bunny is coming. Okay, he seems to be doing something now. Good, he's cheering you up. Cheer him up. Good. Well, God only knows we're just going to have to have those uh, geysers there forever, I suppose. His Every moment of his life is pure suffering, but can he at least pull the weeds out? He can do that. Good job. Let's do that. Good, we've made it comfortable for ourselves in time for the snows. Dressing for the weather. Mm, he needs to make sure he's in his outerwear. Okay, so he doesn't want to go outside in his underwear. That makes a little bit of sense. Is it just me, or is he growing pale? Like he is going to die, or is that just uh, like a LUT over the whole screen? Oh, he does it automatically. That's quite good. Should probably get rid of this trash as well. Hang on a second. We don't really need that. Oh, what do you know? You can just sell that. See if there's anything else that we can sell the holes that we add to. We can sell the geysers! Okay, so then this is actually much better, because for some reason he just can't do that. I'm okay with this. Sell? Do we make any money off of the holes? We don't make money off of the holes, unfortunately, but... You know, I would like to clean up my yard. This is a life hack. They do seem to leave behind puddles. And just, like, a floor of blue. Maybe I'm screwing myself in other ways. It's nonetheless still a source of cleaning that we're going to need to complete. So I, it's not like we're getting away with a lot right here. I'm probably going to delete these because I need better sources of food. I didn't like those very much. Not at all. Alright, what is, what is this stuff? We've created some sort of like mirror substance on the ground. I think we just bugged the game horribly, uh, no pun intended. I'm alright with it, I mean, uh, uh, am I making zombies for Project Zomboid? No, he's, actually, that's one of his pet peeves, he doesn't like zombies. Do I have his, uh, his likes and his dislike? He is an average cabbage. But, I mean, like, whatever is the, uh, damn it. We just have blue ground now. I'm sure we could put floor over it at some point. Hmm. This will never do. Alright, Hieronymus. At least you're getting food again. You don't seem to be so deathly ill. He can't repair things, though, either. Hmm. He's going to need a bookcase, is what he's going to need. Have a snack. Cereal. Cereal. There we go. Nice, nutritious bowl of Cheerios or whatever you're having. There we go. Even his comfort is rising. Who could deny that? Let's buy him a slightly better chair and bed and stuff. Because currently, he's just not having it. Manipulate the terrain around the void blocks. I don't know. I, I think that there's just going to be a lot of bugs in this. I, I have accepted it. I have accepted it. 
Oh, yeah, maybe it is because I still have move objects on. Try move objects off. Oh, that's why. Okay, so that's... So I, I guess I cheated there accidentally. <laughs> Whoops-a-daisy. Whoops-a-daisy. I thought it was just something that was very convenient. Uh, that is unfortunate because how else am I going to get rid of those holes in the ground? Ah, here's the last cockroaches. I really don't like these things. They bring down my mood and everything. And they, they're getting away. They're regrouping. Good. It's like Thermopylae. Alright, they're all gone. Thank God, I'm alone again. I never thought that it would get so... What are you doing? There was nothing to pan and brush up. Oh, what was that? Okay, sweep. Alone at last. What are you thinking about? You're thinking about being cold. We need to get you some kind of heater in here. Nah, I'm sure he'll be fine. God, even his comfort is going down. Nope, okay, he's enjoying a good book again. He couldn't fill in the holes because the environment stat was so bad, ironically. It's kind of crazy. Like, what else can he do? Teleport skill, which can be learned from one of the multi- So he could teleport with a DLC? No, I think we just need to force him to live a horrible life down here. See, my- the thing that I- I'm feeling right now is... Uh, we really haven't made any progress since the beginning of this stream. I was thinking he was gonna go up, you know, like one level, then two levels. But he just sort of... Well, the treasure was a nice thing to have. But then after that, his needs were very quickly, um, not met. Not quite as bad as in The Sims 1, because I'm not going to lie, I spent about three days doing that challenge, but he's still suffering immensely. Don't get it twisted. I'm sure we could do something a little bit better with these aspiration rewards, though. Like, have him giving financial advice to people on the internet and probably making a lot of money doing that. Yeah, I don't think it's uh, toward the spirit of the challenge if we just teleport him out, though. He's got to earn his way out. He's got to earn his way out. But can we prevent him from freezing, too? There's all these other weird things that come up. But there's only four days left in the winter as well. Oh, this is his temperature. Yeah, he may freeze to death. Okay, uh, hang on a second. Get up. Can I... How do I change him into... I may need to buy a wardrobe here. Let's go back out. I believe this is under... Is it decorative? Nope. Mm, miscellaneous. Here we go. Wardrobes. Mm, mm. Oh, Sims Generation challenges. Yeah, Sims... Ge well, I thought there was one challenging that looked really interesting in the generations. was that you have to... Here we go. Outerwear. Come on, just wear warm clothes all the time. Okay, maybe he'll be slightly warmer then. Whoops. Nope, don't even sleep. Don't even sleep, because I don't... I would rather that you not sleep and be tired and not freeze to death. He's really not doing too particularly good. How else can we warm him up, though? Oh, he's also aging into a senior citizen as well. I didn't even notice this. He becomes an elder in 22 days, so he might actually be an old man before he gets out. Wow. Put in a floor. Yeah, we could do fire, some sort of fire. Let's try that. We do have some money to kick around before we die of uh, something horrible. Radiator. Hmm. Let's try light. Maybe like the heat from the lamp. We'll keep, put a single lamp there. You've never stood next to the lamp for warmth. <laughs> you haven't lived the way I have lived. Hmm. Maybe there's a radiator in here or something. Ceiling sprinkler. Pretty sure that's not what I'm looking for. <laughs> Trash shoot. Oh, this is my favorite song. This is the Sim Time Sim Place uh, Hyper Remix. This is the one song I know from this game by name. Give him, yes, give a man a fire, he's warm for a day. Set a man on fire, warm for... <laughs> so 
a great phrase. Hmm. Let's also try giving him a floor. Yeah, nice wood floor. Nice warm wood floor. Nothing warmer than wood. Okay, fancy living. Fancy living again. Let's check this out. Come on, we floored you. We lamped you. You won't be getting weeds in the house anymore. Unfortunately, there actually is a point to floor in this. God, that is really nauseating. I'm not even remotely close to the edge. Well, we'll just look at him like this. Oh, God. <laughs> Every day is a nightmare. Okay, yes, his, uh, his uh, temperature did slightly rise. Hopefully he won't die of the flu. Wallpaper, yes. This is not a bad idea, not a bad idea. Looks like he's not able to... Damn it. Okay, we'll just d live like this. I think one thing we're gonna have to do in this... Early on in this challenge is just whenever he's unable to repair something... You just gotta replace it. Because how else is he expected to... You know, live like this? And we won't even be able to have a trash can there. That'll save money and we'll bring the trash can down. That makes it a bit more feasible. I like challenge. I don't like frustration. <laughs> Alright, let's see if he makes it through the winter. But my one perhaps regret is that he's definitely going to become a senior citizen before he gets out of this hole. Like, he's not going to make it out of there in uh, 22 days. He's going to need more. But his needs are up. He seems to be recovering from his flu. What is that? Uh, you know, the necessities. The bare necessities. Hieronymus is healthy again! Great, okay. Man, that's very annoying, the flu. Am I... Yeah, I'm not even on the outskirts. That's weird. I'm probably one of the only people who plays this game. Nah, well, there have been some wacky people who played this game, too. What he needs is, like, a good lawn mower. Well, he doesn't look healthy yet, but I'll believe it. I'll believe that he's healthy. Let's go ahead and get some gardening done, because that's obviously the main priority here. Yep, uh, you'll get in the right mood when you pull out these weeds. They've been clouding your, uh, your judgment and your, and your clear thinking for now. Hieronymus. There we go, nice weed pulling. There we go. Let's see if this was the problem. Okay, good Easter Bunny out of nowhere again. I like that Easter Bunny. That's better than, what was his name, Sonny the Tragic Clown of The Sims 1, who's actually one of the strangest characters in all of video gaming. That appeared to have something to do with it. Get out the rest of these. <laughs> oh, God. Three generations of mole people. Uh, did I finish talking about what I was saying before? Yeah, so basically there was a challenge in The Sims I was reading about. Um, I can't remember. It was on some website. I just googled, like, what are Sims challenges. I was trying to cast about for ideas. And it said that you could have generations of people and say that some of them couldn't use power. Like, you treat them like they're living before the invention of electricity. Um, or I guess you would say discovery of electricity. But yeah, it just sounded kind of interesting to have them trying to live without power. Mm, yeah, like a... Eh, well, I mean, actually, as the generations go by, you start to use more and more powered items. Like, this, you first you start off using lamps, and then you go on to, you know, like telephones, and then eventually you end at computers when you're in the modern era. It's kind of a neat idea. I don't know, whenever I'm not making videos or just trying to cast about for the next idea, usually I'm... Ah, uh, nothing like living underground in a hole for free. Now, this is a picture I could get behind. This is like the kind of Ikea dorm room life. I mean, don't you kind of feel an Ikea vibe here? Like, what's some kind of... Foreverska. Thank you for the prime. Actually, Foreverska sounds kind of like the name of a piece of Ikea furniture. You know, I like those. They have good names. It reminds me of the uh, of the Sims 2 furniture names. But look, he's actually got his ducks in line now. Wow, took you long enough. So from this point, uh, we have kind of gotten beyond the impasse. It was very difficult getting through all of that. But now he's just normal cold. Is he dying of... No, don't die of being frozen. 
What what was that from? Are you going into? It's not extreme temperatures. Look, he's in the green zone now. <laughs> Being melodramatic. No. Oh God. Ah, uh, is there uh, any way to please? I lost my only sim. Well, it was interesting uh, while well, it lasted. Man, things were just getting in line for uh, hum Hieronymus Humperdink. Grim, Grim Reaper is making a phone call, it seems like. That is a big 2006 phone. Uh, well, that was interesting to try out anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm just a... I'm just an urn now. Well, that was the life of Hieronymus Humperdinck. I was thinking it would last a bit longer, but th I still think that this was interesting to try out. Um, I could reload my last save. I feel like that's slightly... Maybe I'll try it out in a couple of different ways slightly before we sign off. But um, I felt as though I should have more extremely pushed into the realm of digging for treasure, you know? Maybe settled for a smaller house to begin with, and then expand as we rise up the heights. Uh, what did he di He died of hubris. He was proud. He flew too close to the sun. Great guy. Where, but where was I at, though? I think the definite things you got to do in this challenge are you got to bring down the trash can, because otherwise he's living down there with a lot of roaches, and that's very distracting to him. I was just trying to kind of figure out, like, weird stuff that you got to do for this challenge. Um... Like most people who dig holes for money. Yes, he spent most of the day fighting bugs. I think other than that, getting him this house was the right move, especially because I didn't understand The Sims 2 seasons. That I didn't know that that existed or was a thing. We'll probably do that. We'll probably sell his ashes for another 150 so we could buy something else. Can we move somebody else in here? I think we do have one other guy. We might as well give it a shot with him, right? Um, let's go back out to the neighborhood. We won't save the game. Uh, oh, crap, or is it actually all just going to be reset? Well, we get to enjoy this fantastic Sims 2 loading screen, is it? Oh, he's actually right there. We, uh, so we could go back in time, but I don't know. I, I just think that this was fun to do for a test out. I wanted to try this out today. Um, I'm probably going to do a little bit more robust testing, but uh, yeah, anyway, I just kind of wanted to do some of that with you guys while we figured out the challenge. Honestly, I, I learned a lot from doing it with you guys here. Um... Yeah, I think that's going to be the next video, just living uh, in a sinkhole underground, because I, <laughs> I think it's funny. <laughs>